Hi everyone, Denaira here with Sit and DIY and welcome to my channel. Um, today's project is project number two in the series of Dollar Tree Hot Wheels project. I am calling this project a Gothic Arch and you'll see why. Um, it's a great project for the kitchen, for the bathroom, for the bedroom, for the craft room as you guys will see. And I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. And make sure you subscribe because like I said, I have a lot of videos with these Hot Wheels coming up and um, I just kind of like, you know, I've got to make them and I've got to, you know, film them while, while I'm making them and then I've got to edit the videos, blah, blah, blah. At any rate, without further ado, let's go ahead and watch the video. Thanks.
so I'm going to start off by probably fitting these boxes into the frame. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do um, a two tray or three tray just yet, but I'm going to dry fit these two and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like I've decided to go ahead and add a third, or rather middle, um, tray or pocket, however you want to call it. So I'm going to make sure that I've got full spacing between all three pockets so that it doesn't look crazy. Not really sure what I'm going to put in here since the profile is so slim, but we'll see. Sorry about the angle guys my overhead camera wasn't even on I think about the front camera was on so what I'm gonna be doing right now is marking where the um, bottom of the trays are on on the frame so that I know where to place my blocks as always I always do a dry fit so I'm putting them in and then I'm clamping them um, and then I'm going on ahead and putting hot glue on them to secure them right now so that I can get the frame sort of hot glued together. After I hot glue it, I'll go back in with my brand nailer to permanently tack in all of these shelves. Here I'm using my brand nailer to nail in the blocks to the frame. This will help the um, trays be more secure. Not that it needed because I'm not gonna be putting anything heavy in here anyway. I thought I'd be able to use the blocks as they were. I needed to put something inside of the boxes to make sure that they were stable and I would have something to actually nail um, the side frame to. But notice that the blocks were actually too big. Yay, my overhead is back. So what I did was I did a dry fit and then I had cut off about a quarter of an inch on each of the blocks and now I'm sanding them to make sure I don't have any edges all over the place and then I'll put them in the, in the trays and hot glue them in there so that they'll be stable enough for me to shoot my brad nailer in there inside the size you'll see I know it sounds kind of crazy but you'll be able to see it in a moment so now I'm just putting some glue some hot glue um, on the edges of the frame and I am sitting the, the boxes down into the frame where the blocks actually stop and using my clamps. You don't need clamps. If you can, invest in a few boxes or rather a few bags of these clamps from the Dollar Tree. They're pretty nice. I like the bigger ones actually more so than the smaller ones. But, um, you know, whatever they have, I'd, I'd go ahead and grab them. I do wish they would sell these online. Um, it would make it easier for me rather than having to have to buy the different Dollar Trees in hopes of getting the larger ones. But um, I've been sort of lucky. But when these go bad because it is from the Dollar Tree, let's face it, then I'll need more. So right here I am putting a brad nail into the sides of um, the trays sure that's nice and secure 
and that's what the extra blocks are for on the inside of the tray something you know to actually nail into so that the nail is not protruding out but you know you need, you need teeth rather for lack of better words to, to secure this so that there's something to nail your nail into so I'm putting some hot glue on this tab to make it make sure that it's uh, that it doesn't like pop up um, and we'll need some more clamps for that so as you can see you might use a lot of clamps and so now it's time for the feet I am actually using those wood craft cubes I think it's like 36 or rather to a, a package and I'm putting wood, wood glue on those and I'm gonna um, secure those I like using wood glue in conjunction with hot glue the hot glue will set it fast and the wood glue time obviously will make it more permanent um, because I could like do a brad nail but no guys it's really not that serious we're not talking about it yeah, it's not going to be moving all over the place, so I don't really need anything that's serious for it. So just put the cubes on, and that's going to be it. And then I'm going to spray paint this baby and put some um, ribbon on the sides, and then we'll see the final product.